Hi, my name's Nick and welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you what Solar Titan USA doesn't want you to know. If you haven't already seen all of our other solar related videos, I'll put a playlist right here as well as in the description below for you to watch. We got our 11 kilowatt solar powered system with 10 kilowatt battery backup installed on August 23rd of 2022. The system was finally operational on September 20th of 2022. Well, we finally got our first bill that's going to show how much we can expect to save with this $70,000 Solar Edge system that was installed by Solar Titan USA. Let's take a look at the Solar Edge monitoring system to see how much energy we produced and consumed during this billing cycle. Our system produced 670.99 kilowatt hours during this billing cycle. Of that, we exported 273.44 kilowatt hours, so that should be taken off our bill. Also, according to the monitoring, we used 1,700 kilowatt hours during the billing cycle. Of the 1,700, only 1,300 were actually pulled from the grid, and we should be charged for those kilowatt hours. So let's subtract what we exported to the grid from what we imported from the grid, and that should show how much energy we should be billed for. That equals 1,027 kilowatt hours. Now let's take a look at our electricity bill. Well, look at that. We got charged for 1,891 kilowatt hours. Before we got our solar system installed, during the summer when the AC was running pretty much nonstop, we used 56 kilowatt hours on average per day. Once the solar system got installed and we transitioned into fall where the AC was pretty much not running at all, we used 65 kilowatt hours per day. After looking at the bill, I was completely shocked, so I immediately called Solar Titan USA to find out what was going on. After being put on hold several times, they told me that they were going to send somebody out to swap out the inverter. Our battery wasn't working properly from the time the system was installed, so about a week and a half ago, some guys came out to take a look at it and fix the problem. Pretty much as soon as they arrived, they took a look at our meter and said, that is definitely the wrong meter for this system. The electric company should have come out and swapped it out for a meter that's capable of sending power back to the grid. I called Solar Titan USA again and they said that they weren't able to get a hold of anybody with the electric company to get this new meter installed. They suggested that I call myself. One of the benefits to going with these solar companies is they do all the legwork for you so all you have to do is sit back and relax while they install the system, get all the permits, contact the electric company, do all of that stuff. Well guess what? I had to do some of that work myself. I called the power company and guess what? I was able to talk to somebody. He told me that he's been trying to get a hold of Solar Titan USA for a couple months now because he needed to get a form filled out so that he could actually come out and swap out the meter for us. I mentioned to him that every time I call their customer service line, I get a hold of somebody pretty much right away and suggested he try the same. He said he was going to give them a call as soon as he got off the phone with me and then call me back and let me know what they said. He called me back a half hour later and told me that after being swapped of several different people, he finally got a hold of somebody who could help out. He had sent forms for them to fill out and return to him and they just sat on it and never did anything. Apparently, they were very confused what to do with the form. He explained it to them, and they said it would be no problem for them to fill it out and return it to him the next morning. He said as soon as he gets those forms, he could get somebody out here within a day or two to swap out the meter for us. We'll definitely be posting an update video for you after they swap out the meter and we get our brand new inverter, and hopefully the system will actually do what it's supposed to. Go ahead and subscribe if you don't already, and we'll see you next time.